Hello, welcome to Shusha's Kitchen. I'm cooking today couscous with chicken and vegetables. It's a Northern African uh, delicacy. It's really nice with, uh, of course, with vegetables and with chicken. Uh, you can have it instead of the chicken, you can have them with lamb, uh, and, or you can have them as a vegetarian. Couscous, it's a semolina grain. It's a plant-based protein. It's high in antioxidant. You wouldn't feel guilty when you eat it as it's less calorie, it has less calories than the rice. Usually you need uh, some equipment for the couscous, to cook the couscous. My way it's speedy and it has, still has the traditional flavor. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. First we'll prepare the stew for the couscous. Uh, we need the spices, uh, we need black pepper, we need turmeric, we need ras el hanout, it's a Moroccan spice, and we need cumin, and my favorite part is the saffron. Uh, we need only a tiny bit of it. If you don't have saffron, it's fine, you can, I mean, the turmeric will give the same color, maybe not the same flavor, but you can get away with it. And I'm cutting my chicken and uh, the, I'm having baby chicken. Baby chicken, it's more tender and it has the flavor. So uh, I cut the, uh, the thigh a bit bigger than the breast, so it will cook at the same time. It will be done at the same time. For this too, we need the garlic and the ginger, we need the onion, and we need parsley, coriander, tomato. For the vegetables, you're free to have the preference vegetable you like. Uh, it's usually with squash, courgette, uh, uh, carrot, and sweet potato. I mean, I love vegetables, so I think you, you put the amount you like again. And I'm putting also celery with it, and chili, the, uh, the pepper, the red and green pepper to give a bite to the flavor. First, with the saffron, you want to get the best out of it. So you need to add some, just a tiny bit of sugar. It will come as a powder. I'm gonna mix all the spices here to coat the chicken with it. Add the saffron. We need everything here. Later, I can add some hot water, you know, to to get everything out here. So I'm using Himalayan salt, my favorite. Mix them together. The smell is really nice already. Just a tiny bit. Coat the chicken. From both sides and if like there's layers in it just also add I always cook large meal so you don't have to I will keep the rest of the spice to use it for later so don't throw it away now we start with the frying the chicken. In a medium high heat, I use olive oil and one spoon of ghee to give a nice flavor to it. When the oil is hot, I start add the chicken. Now we'll add the chicken. Just be careful, the oil is really hot. You can do it in two times. Like if you think it's not enough, your salt is not enough to get the nice color for the chicken because we need it caramelized a little bit. So you can do it in two times, no problem. I'm removing the thigh first because it doesn't need lots of cooking and just a little bit more for the, uh, for the bread. It should be cooked halfway because you're gonna cook the chicken with the vegetables. 
so it just should be like halfway done. With the same pot, we'll add the onion with the remaining oil, of course, because it has the full flavor of the chicken. We'll wait until it's caramelized a little bit. Now with the onion, it's sauteed, so we can add the ginger and the garlic. Mashed, they mash together. I think they are only for two minutes or one minute, and then we'll add the tomato. You have to be a little bit patient with the tomato, it has to uh, break the water and get it like everything will get dry. Uh, so they can bump together, then you will add the hot uh, or the boiled water. You can see I'm um, spraying the water, you have to wait a little bit more. Now it's like a thick paste. It's good. So we'll add the parsley and the coriander. I think that's enough. It should be the same amount. We'll add the rest of the spices. Every time we add the chicken, we we'll just like a little bit cover it with some of the sauce. Start with the breast first, always. I say it needs more time to be cooked. Try not to touch the chicken a lot, so it will keep the shape. Now we'll add boiling water. The boiling water should not only cover the chicken. We have to think about the vegetables that's coming, so we need a little bit more. And also we're gonna use the sauce or the water, the, you know, the broth. The water is covering the chicken now. Uh, and I need to add some more stock. It's a homemade one. Or you can add anything like ready-made one. Just because I'm using lots of the water to also to cook the couscous. So we need like a big amount and we don't want to lose the flavor of the of the broth. And this one, the saffron, we don't want to lose anything from the saffron. So we'll wash it with, with boiling water again. We'll put it in a medium heat for about 10 minutes. When the chicken is almost done, then we we'll start adding the vegetables. Now we'll start adding the vegetables. Uh, celery. We'll add the goat vegetables first because it takes more time to, to, to be cooked. So we'll add the carrot. We try also to cut them almost, you know, a similar shape. So we say we eat with our eyes. So we'll add the carrot first. Then the sweet potato. Hard. and then the squash we'll keep the courgette for last because it doesn't need lots of time we'll cover it for a few minutes it's quicker now the squash is almost done. The carrot, it, it's good. We'll check the chicken also. I think it's good. You don't need to worry if you think one of the, you know, the ingredients has been cooked. So you can just take it off, put it on the side, let the others, you know, cook well, and then put it back.
So no problem. So I want to make sure the chicken is done. Yeah. Leave it for another minute. Now we'll add the courgette. And of course the pepper. Forget to mention the pepper. Let's try to cover everything. Leave it for a few minutes and we'll come back to do the couscous. I would add a little bit of lemon juice. Just a tiny bit. Cooking it for another five minutes on the medium heat until the courgette is tender. While we're waiting for the courgette to you know to be done, for the whole things to be done, we can start doing the couscous. My way again it's a speedy way. So instead of using the steamer, I keep you know fluff the couscous. I'll do it in a simple way. I'm gonna show you how to do it. So it, you just you need to measure the couscous. So I'm doing two cups, almost two and a half cups. And then we'll add exactly the same amount of liquid. So one cup will be hot water and the other cup will be from the broth of the chicken and the vegetables to have the rich texture. So that's one hot water and slowly, slowly we'll mix them together. I forgot to mention, we have the butter. Mix the butter first. Each, each one cup is about one tablespoon of butter. The pan has to be quite large, so it's, you know we need space because it's going to expand. Now we'll take from the broth from here. I need to measure it, so what I'm going to do because there was some water left here, so I don't want to waste it. We need clear liquid for the couscous and we'll put this one back it's nice let's see how much is that yeah perfect and again we'll add it to the couscous mix them very well and add some salt you will see the couscous is plain but has all the nice flavor. We're gonna cover it and make sure the steam is still there. And put kitchen cloth and we'll leave it for about five minutes, then we'll come back. Now it's been five minutes, so I'll check my couscous. It has to be very fluffy. Just separate them well. Maybe add a tiny bit of the uh, of the mixture or the hot water. Now we'll put them in a very low heat, cover them well, and leave it for about 10 minutes. I think I'll add a little bit of boiling water. We need them really fluffy. Another two minutes, three minutes. Everybody's hungry, now time to serve the food. The main thing to, you know, to serve this dish, it's like you, you put the couscous like a circle and leave a hole in the middle for the, uh, for the stew, for the chicken and the, uh, the vegetables. So we'll do it this way. You can see it's very fluffy, the couscous, and if you see any uh, clumpy one, then you just like try to wake it, try to make them even. And now we put the chicken first. 
if you can see the chicken looks really nice. We try not to break the vegetable. We don't want uh, we want them to look nice. And then we put the vegetables. and just a tiny bit of this two on the top and more of this two on the side so if anybody wants like more it's here now my couscous and chicken with vegetables is ready uh, I hope you enjoy it if you want to receive more videos, please hit like and subscribe and see you soon. Thank you so much.